Hey everyone and welcome to our Devolution Studio. My name is Yen and today I want to showcase our Devolutions Web Login version 7. It's a, kind of an updated version of our uh, famous browser extension that we use. Now if you're not familiar with uh, our Devolutions Web Login or DWL as we call it in-house here, uh, basically what DWL does is it's a little browser extension that sits on the top of your browser and lets you uh, put your username and credentials for you. It grabs it from your personal vault, your private vault or your team vault that's stored in Remote Desktop Manager or Devolution Password Server and soon Devolutions Hub that's coming very soon. But the idea is it grabs securely your uh, credentials, username and passwords and puts them into uh, your favorite websites. So you might be browsing uh, a corporate website or a personal website and uh, you go in there and automatically your username and passwords get put in automatically for you. You don't even have to know the password, it automatically puts it in there. But uh, it's a great way to keep things secure and it's part of your security, uh, your password management solution that you may have. But um, it's a great extension and we love using it here in-house all the time. But we've made some updates to it and we wanted to show them to you today. So let's take a look at my screen and, um, uh, and look at uh, all the new features that we've added for you, okay? Okay, so you can see my screen now. Um, here we have our uh, couple, I, I loaded up a couple uh, websites in our browser here uh, just so you could see uh, DWL7 in action. Uh, first of all, I wanted to take attention to the extension itself. We've updated, uh, updated the look. Uh, it used to be a, had a black, uh, little black bar on the top. Now we kind of have a unified color theme. Everything is a bit cleaner. We've, we've cleaned up some of the icons and some of the locations of some things. Just trying to make a nice interface, a little bit cleaner look for you. Uh, if you go to the gear icon, you've noticed that we've kind of separated some things out. Now the configuration tabs are above and all your data sources are cleanly uh, listed below. Uh, the data source I'm using is Devolution Password Server. So that's why we have the little icon up here, so we know which one we're using. Uh, in this interface, notice how the repositories now, when you click them down, they have a nice new look here. A little bit cleaner, easier to select some things, and uh, uh, I think you guys will like that. Also, we have uh, the little plus icon when you do a new entry. You'll notice we cleaned up the look here a little bit. The default now is a private vault instead of the, the de default destination being the, the public or the team vault. So now it goes directly to your private vault. Uh, as always, you can share credentials from a private a vault or a team vault as well if you have your corporate or your um, company's team has a uh, shared credential, you can use that as well and embed it into the websites. But here you can type in username and password as always to save a credential. So it's kind of a neat new look for you. Uh, notice also if I look at the web page here, a couple different changes, some improvements I think. Uh, you'll notice here there's like a little one. It shows you how many um, uh, passwords are saved or accessible for this uh, in this inline field right here. So if I click on it, you'll see she has access, Ellen has access to Devolution's cloud account in this website. But if I turn my attention, what if there's more than one? Okay, let's see that. So I've got this website here, Twango. We can get some local deals here in Canada of um, uh, some different things that uh, you can do locally. Uh, here we have two credentials available. Notice in the, in the sign-in page, if I click on that, now I've got two. So she has, apparently she has a, a, a personal account, but her uh, corporate account also allows her to, to purchase things um, for the corporation so uh, she has access to both. So when she plugs it in, it automatically plugs in the information as needed, or if she uses a corporate account, she can use the corporate account as well. So she can log in and access that. So kind of a nice thing. Now let's say you wanted to add another one. Um, I wanna show you kind of a new look. So let's say she has also a corporate uh, personal account. Maybe they wanna separate uh, roles out. Uh, so I'm going to put in a username and password for her. Obviously this account doesn't exist, but I want to show you what happens when you try logging in and save it. Now notice the new uh, dialog box here has uh, the username and password don't show up again. Uh, they were automatically copied from the current location, but uh, it's kind of a new interface. So you notice it has this uh, new uh, save dialog here. Um, and instead of never, it now says don't ask again, okay? So we, we just wanted to make things a little bit clearer and easier for you guys to see. But um, yeah, that's basically it. 
Hey, thanks again for joining us in the Devolution studio today for a video update on Devolution's web login. Uh, if there's anything you want to know, just leave a comment below. We'd love to, uh, to interact with you guys and uh, we'll keep making more of these videos if you guys like this type of thing. But uh, thanks again and uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel. That's how you'll find the latest and greatest for all of our products, our demos, anything that we do. We'll upload it to YouTube uh, for you guys. And thanks again for being a great fan. Check out our social media as well and uh, just interact with us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again.